Hey guys, we're gonna teach you real quick how to avoid the ER2 code on the Pits and Spits Maverick uh, pellet grills. The ER2 code is given when the unit does not reach 160 degrees in 30 minutes. It's usually not an issue until you get kind of in the northern climates, winter time, stuff like that on the bigger ones, the 1250 and 2000s. So we're just gonna make a couple changes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna increase that time limit from 30 to 60 and we're also going to increase the auger percentage speed at startup to help it heat up a little faster. First thing you want to do is plug your unit in and make sure it's on but not running. So right now I'm plugged in and we're on but not running. So, and then you want to take and hit the prime and the probe button for three seconds until you get into the edit menu and you'll see the C pop up. So now we're in the edit menu. So what you want to do is use your temperature uh, things here and we're going to go into C11. C11 is the time frame and it's uh, by default at 30 minutes. So then you hit the power button to get into it. So you see we're at 30. Now these two buttons increase and decrease your values. Probe increases, display decreases. So we're going to hit probe and we're just going to hold it in until that gets to 60 minutes. All right, we're there. Then just hit the power button to save it. And then if you want to double check, you can hit the power button again and you'll see now it's at 60. So next thing we're going to do is go to C10. C10 is the auger percentage speed during startup. So we're going to hit power and right now we're at 30. So I'm on a 1250. I'm going to go to 45 on this. Generally what I do on a 2000, I go to 50. 1250, you probably only need about 45 and an 850 if you even need to do the auger feed speed, probably a 40%. So with this being a 1250, I'm gonna hold this in and we're gonna go up to 45%. You wanna make sure when you get back into the warmer temps, you turn this back down. There's no sense in leaving it this high and to go down, you just hit the display button and you can see my values are going down. So we're gonna get this up to 45. We're there, we hit the power button. And then again, you can just double check it. Yep, we're there. Then when you're all done, hit the prime button. Prime button saves it all, and you're finished. That's all you gotta do. Then you can just turn your unit on, and you are ready to go. Thank you very much.